Hey, what up, what up, what up? It's your boy Jordan Collector 101. Okay, Derek. Um, I here in response to Kid Thunder 2's uh Why George are Dying Out video. Um This is just my take on it and this one this is what we how we're gonna do it. Okay. A few reasons why I disagree. A few reasons why I sort of agree with what you're saying. First, in 2012, the hype beast are out. They are out. They're here. They're staying. They are not leaving. Period. Um, and all the new Jordan releases, Hype Beast are there. They're going to be there. It's just the way it works. They're getting all the shoes they shouldn't get. That's what I'm saying. This is how I look at it. If you have one, two, three, four, five pairs of shoes, your third, fourth, fifth pair should not be the Concords or the Cement 3s. Everyone needs to stay in their lane. Not saying you can't buy what you want to buy, but it pisses me off. I'm sure it pisses other sneakers off, sneakerheads off too when we see you walking around with busted J's. Busted up fucking J's. The dudes that be that are just now getting into the sneaker game, you can tell because they'll buy shoes one week. Like I saw this all in February. One week. It was right after Black History Month release. Uh... I don't know what I was back getting the next week. I don't remember, but dude already had his Royal Tens on. Why? I don't get dressed up to go to Jordan release. If you go to a release with me, you already know what I'm in. I'm wearing sweats, and I'm wearing one of my old go-tos, like my old, like my old playoff tens. I, I mean, my playoff eights. I fucked up, and like things like that. I'm not getting freshed up because I don't feel I have to prove myself to anyone else. Some people are doing it, like you said, for a status. I'm not doing it to prove anyone. I love sneakers always love sneakers always and that's what i do so i'm not going out to try to impress anyone else i mean i'm not gonna lie, I try to impress bitches but other than that no okay but i look at it like this and i wear lebron's phone posits new balances reeboks adidas uh kd's kobe i have it all i wear it all so this is a neutral side but i'm putting like this most of you sneaker heads if you are a true sneakerhead, you probably wore Jordans first. You probably wore Jordans first. I'm not going to anything different because you know what? Jordans is what I know best, and I have baby pictures in Jordans. That's so I'm not wearing anything else, and I'm not putting anything far in front of them. No way. Um, I'm put it like this: when it comes to Jordans, even Jordans that I don't think retro Jordans that I don't think are all that hot, I'm getting anyway. Period. The past three years, I get every retro Jordan that comes out period because although i think it's hot or not i'm nine times out of ten it's not that bad if i don't think it's super hot it's not bad i just don't want to miss out on anything that i started out with so if i have to pick a jordan over a lebron or a kobe or a kevin i'm doing it every time period um, next thing is jordans are classics man like just pull them out the box i mean i understand you can't wear them right now because the hype beasts are out you cannot wear them right now um the people that shouldn't have Jordans that are wearing them two, three, four, five, six days in a row are the people that shouldn't have them. So you have to let you. I just have enough sneakers, so I'm waiting. Dude, my Cool Grays, my Space Jams, my Concords, my Cement 3s. Like, I mean, I wear my ones from the old package, like my sneakers from the old pack, but I don't wear. My Jordans that came out in the past year, not yet. They're not ready to be worn yet. I'm, until everyone else, all these stupid ass people that aren't really sneakerhead, get that stupid shit out of their system, I'm not wearing them because I don't want to go up and go. Because when I wear my shit, I'm geared. I'm straight geared when I wear mine. So I'm coming out, I'm going to be geared. Period. I'm going to be geared. So I don't know, man. It's just, I can see where y'all coming from, but. And next thing is, people don't take care of them. You know, you see people wear Jordans that are busted up. Like, bro, we just got those three weeks ago. How are they already busted up? What did you do in the past week to wear, like, bust them up like that? I don't know. And they'll come out with some bougie-ass outfit. Just wear them like it's whatever. I don't know. And then, too many people do have them. I agree with that. Um, They definitely do. Can't say nothing about that. And, okay, last the thing part... That I think why people think the way it is is there's not many really hot 2012 Jordan shoes. People are losing it because LeBron 9s, KDs, Kobe's, there's something new. 
Um, Jordan, the only thing he has that's hot is his retros, and everybody's seen them before. I mean, I still get excited as hell when I see classic, classic Jordans. Not many people do. You know, you they're getting old. People don't want to wear them as much because he doesn't hot drop a hot shoe. This is what I've always thought. In 2009, when he had the AJ 2009, he should have dropped the AJ 2009 for like 150 and then have a two, uh, Jordan 24. Period. Like, that's just what he should have done. Um, the number Jordans aren't hot. Team Jordans aren't hot. I'm not wearing Spizikes. They're not hot. The whole Jordan versus Nike conversation right now is crazy. Look at Nike. I'm going to just go, all right, kick comparison. Team Nike, Team Jordan. Team Nike smashes Team Jordan right now. Smashes. Think about it. Team Jordan is CP3, Carmelo. That's what I can think of off the top of my head. Then you have Nike. I'm going to just go off three. Katie, Kobe, LeBron. Let's go with what shoes are selling. 2012 Jordan, anything is whack. Carmelo's are weak. CP3's weak. Nobody wants those. Nobody. Nobody stands in lines for the new CP3's to drop in. Nobody. Um, cause all, they're all based on really making a good basketball shoot, which is cool. But you need to make it so they look geared, too. Um, if you go back to the M1.5, the M5.5, and the M3's, and the M4's, those were hot. Hot as fuck. Go back to the beginning and start up again. Build them up from that. Those were hot. I rocked those in seventh grade for basketball. Uh, just for every day. Like, I thought the Mellows and the Mellows were so nice. Especially the first ones. Oh, they came out when I was in sixth grade. I still remember it. Hot. My parents weren't even trying to spend all that money on shoes. I found a way and got two pairs for Christmas. And I wore them all the time. Those were hot. They need to go back to the basics. You look at Team Nike. Team Nike is doing it as a whole. They're all dropping shit people ain't ever seen before. Just shit. LeBron 9s are new. They're new. They drop out with new colorways. Shoes that people ain't seen before. That's why it's a fresh new look. People seen everything the dude Jordan has done before with these classic sneakers. Everything he's doing right now, he's done before. So, I don't know. It's a controversial argument, but I, Jordans will never die. In my opinion, at all, um, it just depends on how people wear them and how people like to be seen in them. I don't know. It's it's just what it is. You don't. I I keep my Jordans in a nice condition. I can wear mine all the time. Uh, I pull them out of the box and they're cool. You know, classic colorways. I mean, I can't wear my Miami Knights or my hurricanes or my galaxy colors i can't wear them with everything and those that's when my jordans come through you get blacked out jordans a little black with a little red you know all white with red classic normal colors like that's what jordan's here for i don't know um but i don't think jordan's dying out man you gotta you just keep them around um wear everything all right man uh, I'm out on this video. That's all I got to say. That's my argument. Jordans aren't dying. Peace.